Yeah, hello, 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 hello. Yeah, so I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. The name's remain the same. I'm Kenneth Ryan, the co founder of Fondo Technology Company. So I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. The name's remain the same. I'm Kenneth Ryan. Yeah, so I welcome the new subscribers and the old ones, the new ones. I say you're welcome and you stay because I know this is your first time watching your fresh episode on my noble platform here we always talk about positive vibes and we kill the negative vibes i said what we kill the negative vibes and we are about to kill one big negative vibes <laughs> so before we start as a ghanian rich kid or as a ghanian typical ghanian man we cherish women and we always think that I want to clear this for you to know how Ghanaian women or Ghanaian men are. Because I know that a lot of people are watching me from East Africa, South Africa, North Africa, Europe, and things. So I want to know, I want to, before I will start my episode, I want you to know how a typical Ghanaian man behaves. A typical Ghanaian man, when the person is in love, he can do everything for love. When a typical Ghanaian man loves someone and wants to marry that person, even if that person that doesn't doesn't have money, he he can go for loan to marry. Or his rib, yeah. He can do that. A typical a typical Ghanaian man. Cherish women they love. And there's no way they can disrespect the woman they love unless the love, the love is fading. And one thing about rich kids or rich people in Ghana, when they want to marry, although some do their wedding privately, they don't invite people and but you see that this one is a rich person marrying although there there isn't a lot of people at the wedding ceremony and then but you still feel that this person is a is a rich person people will be saying what are you trying to talk about what at all what this video to the end and you understand what i'm trying to talk about recently it came to my notice that even the wedding ring with the Maya gave to Miss Trady, allegedly, I'm not saying that I know it, it's alleged that the wedding ring, someone bought the wedding ring for Wood Maya, a millionaire like Wood Maya, someone bought a wedding ring for you to give to your wife like how i'm not saying when someone someone bought something for you it, it shouldn't take it but you like like wedding do you know what's a wedding mean you see someone shouldn't even buy the wedding gown for your wife nah and in this case they, they are saying that the wedding ring Mr. Trudy is wearing was bought by a fan of Fudmaya. That that that's not my my issue. This is my issue. Have you seen this picture? <laughs> hey, like how would my behave? Like he doesn't behave like a typical Ghanaian man. I'm telling you, a person who received more than 20,000 monthly revenue from only YouTube KKU. The other businesses, the other business revenue is not there, there yet. Even $20, 20000 dollars is enough. And you go buy this cow. I don't know whether it's is, is it is, is it a cow or what? Let me open my eyes. Word. Is it a cow or hot? Like, <laughs> like 
I don't, I don't know. Is it a cow? <sighs> like yo, but 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 we are we are sorry. That is not how Ghanaian people will behave. We are sorry. That is not how Ghanaian boys or men behave. No, 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 no. And even if we are rich, hey, that one forgets. You go feel the word in war. But, hey, like, that is why a lot of people were saying that all oh, this wording, the bruha behind this wording, it's like, it's a, it's, it's a fake wording. Like, it's a content state wording. That's what people are saying. Because, like, so that's this, this not a typical Ghanaian man. I'm telling you the truth. I know what I'm saying. I know people saying that oh, but wedding there, every everyone have like have his own way of doing this work. I know, even if it's a private wedding, it's a wedding. A typical Ghanaian rich man will still invest in it more. Like, but one thing, on behalf of Ghanaian men, we are sorry. We are sorry because this is not how Ghanaian men, typical Ghanaian men, behaves. I'm telling the truth. Or do you want me to show you some proofs with some pictures? Even it's a private or like it's a like let me say home engagement or traditional marriage and something like that, you still feel the the Ghanaian vibe in it. You still feel like 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 the rich shit in it. You see? But I didn't feel it in it. Because like it seems with the Maya Sorry to say, he doesn't value Miss Trudy. Because if you value Miss Trudy, you will not go for her hand in marriage like with, with, with this cow. This one, is it a sheep or a cow? This cow. A person who receives more than $30,000 a month with this cow. And if we come out to talk about, you say, oh, that's him. No, this one is stinginess. Like, yo, to the highest height, highest level. I know that they say like, oh, they wanted to, to do it cool. Yeah, we know it. But a person who received $30,000 a month, Charlie, even if, even if it's, it's a cool thing, Krana, you have to let us feel, yo, your kind of mentality. But we didn't feel any Ghanaian vibe in this shit. We didn't feel anything. Like a Ghanaian man, a Ghanaian man who received this talk. Now, even if, like, these people who receive 1,500 CDs a month, say, for, they will do, when they are doing their wedding, you say that, yo, this wedding. With Maya never tried at all. I never wanted to talk about this. But when I saw this picture from Don Papi, and I was like, yo, <laughs> like how? Like how? A whole would admire with this cow. And can you see some goats also there? This small goat too. This goat, this goat, if you come to Ghana, you get it. It, it, it is not up to even $100. Not up to even $60. Like how? And if you talk about this, oh, you get people, like, you hate him. Like, you, if you're, you, I can see some women commenting about my video, S some women from Woodmire's camp. If I come to marry you with this cow and this goat, will you accept it? Will you? Will you accept it? At times, you people have to let us tell the truth. Because the truth will, will, will set us free. Let's learn how to suck the truth. Don't think about what people will be thinking. Just say the truth. Because yo, yo, even if me, I don't have money, 
I will not do this kind of thing to a woman that I love. I will not do it. I will not do it. With this cow and goat, I will not do it. I will not do it. If I'm not ready, to, if I'm not financially, financially ready, I will not marry. You see? Because wedding ceremonies are there to make your woman feel proud and things. You see that thing? Then you go there with this cow and goats. And when they talk about this, you still get people defending him. That was your own thing. I don't have any problem about it. I don't have any problem about it. But I, from, I'm, I'm from Ghana. Yeah. And I know how typical Ghanaian men behaves. And this is not a typical Ghanaian man. And to add to it, a typical Ghanaian rich man who own estates and a one million dollar mansion doing this nah nah that's impossible unless you don't follow the girl you are you are marrying or the girl in your life or your wife you don't follow her you can't do this you can't do this at least you visiting her in her village you have to do some things that will raise the standard. So other people will say, oh, like when, when Mishudi husband came to, to marry her, like he did this and that. So you see that thing? But I, I never see anything special about this. There's nothing special about this. There's nothing special about this. That's the short thing I'm talking about. There's nothing special about this. I don't see anything special about it. I don't see it. I don't see anything special about this. Hey, like one of my friends were getting married. My friend, like, he received 2,500 Ghana cities. That is equivalent to, let's say, Two hundred and twenty dollars a month, and when he was doing his wedding, Charlie, hey, you go over you. A person who received just two hundred dollars a month, all the village people were happy, and they were saying that, hey, hey, hey. Mammy, my dear, hey, in the wedding, no, any dear, who bring you, I say that nobody have done this type of wedding in the village. That was what the village people were saying. You see, they got raised the level, they got raised like, like the credibility. Actually, I don't know what to say. Like, yo, so when the guy visited the village up to now, you see people like, like chasing him because, like, yo, they think that the guy get money, be a man. But I get to, you know, shall I get money? You know, get money like that. But because he loves his, his wife, he wanted to, to do things that will make the girl feel proud. You see? And a person who received $30,000 a month did this wedding. I'm not saying the wedding wasn't good, but the items wasn't pleased. No, 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 no. Because he can do more than this. I know what Jemai can do more than this. If he truly loved Miss Trudy, he would do more than this. Or maybe they are planning to do the better wedding. Okay, maybe, maybe so. Because, and that day they were doing the wedding, Mishudi lost 
her mouth, something like that. So at least you have to do something to make her forget everything. You should have do something great to be to remembered like always. Memorable thing. Then you go buy this cow and goat. The cow will be like, I don't know, so it, it, like it get HIV AIDS or something like that. Like this cow. 